Andy Pellis here and welcome back to Guitar Guru channel. Well, today uh, we will learn Smooth Operator song by Sade. That's a huge hit in 80s and 90s. And the problem with most cover bands is that they don't have saxophone player, right? It's typically two guitars in your cover band or one guitar and a keyboard. So I'll show you how to replace all the woodwind parts and play them on electric guitar. Well, uh, first of all, you will need something like drive distortion sound more suitable for playing solo, something like classic rock guitar solo. Something like that. And uh, it will ultimately sound like saxophone, especially if you use certain sound production technique and you have a whammy bar. It can create a slide that imitate woodwind sound. Let's get to it. So the song is in D minor. Here in the second position on fret number five, you have a D minor chord and you can play D minor pentatonic or D minor natural scale right around this D minor chord on string five, fifth fret. That's all you will need to know to play this uh, intro saxophone solo for smooth operator. Uh, first phrase, and it's basically the first three notes on D, of D minor scale, which is string five, fifth fret, A string, fifth fret, and you go D, E, F. These are first three notes of D minor scale, right? But on the third one, you will need to make a gliding sound, like sliding almost, but with your uh, whammy bar. Something like this. D, E, F, and your F is done by pressing on your whammy bar down and sliding at the same time. Okay, the next part would be you add G A on string four, fifth fret, seventh fret, and you kind of bend because this is what a woodwind uh, player, like saxophone player, can do. The note is not necessarily stable. They can fluctuate up and down. So you go D, E, F, and bend all together. Next part is you continue playing um, D minor natural scale. It's string number uh, three, G string, five, seven, then second string. You do embellishment on fifth fret to sixth fret. It's a hammer on pull off. And back to C, D, hammer on. All together slowly. That's your phrase number one. Second phrase starts the exact same way. You again go D, E, slide. You do just picking. It's D, E, F slide. D, D, E, F, D, E, C, D. Third phrase, you repeat the first one exactly the same way. Last phrase in this uh, initial saxophone solo starts with uh, D, G string, seventh fret, which is D note, D, E, F, G, so you go, and then you dip into that note with your whammy bar. When you pick G, you pick only uh, the handle of the whammy bar, and you do it again on second string, fifth fret, E. 
all together slowly. Now, the entire initial sax solo slowly, just you can so you can practice with me. Going from the verse to uh, pre-chorus, you insert the smaller portions of the solo we just learned, such as you start on D string 7th fret A. Every time you go to G minor A, da 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 D minor. This is where you insert it. And then when you get to um, 9th, 11th D minor, this chord, you actually do embellishment reaching for the G on B string 8th fret. E, F, G, it's like you pick on the first note and then two hammer-ons. You can vibrate and return to F, E, and while doing hammer-ons pull off, you kind of shake the whammy bar. It imitates woodwinds. And resolve it back to D. So this accent is D minor, A, C, E, A, C, D. Skip accent. In the chorus, you keep inserting the same melody we learned before in the pre-chorus. But the way you do it is after chorus starts, smooth operator. You can add um, additional F A A F D F A A F D to smooth operator. Smooth operator. And here on the very last one, you go again for G and resolve it to D, uh, either B string third fret or G string seventh fret D. This is the unison, so you can play or and uh, finally you need to learn the improvisation or imitate it on your guitar. It's again saxophone that's playing main solo. Um, it's very hard to repeat what um, people do on woodwinds when you play on string instrument. But to start it off correct, uh, just make sure you understand there is a D minor chord on 10th fret, full bar, right? And this is your D minor chord. The uh, standard pentatonic starts whole step down. These are the notes that he's operating with. He starts with C, C, D. Fast, it's like. And then you can continue with this pentatonic in 10th uh, fret position. Hitting F note on 10th uh, fret and back to 9th and keep repeating E, C, A because that's the main theme of this solo. And then you can continue with something like that. Now, when you talk about harmony in this song, so the key chord is a uh, uh, straight D minor in uh, fifth fret position. So the key note is on A string fifth fret. So that's your D minor. And then the way you play it with pick 
or finger picking. Uh, if you want to make it sound more like jazz rock, I would suggest f finger picking. If you want to play heavier, play it with a pick. Um, it's all D minor chord with a floating bass. It keeps going down D, D flat, C, C, B, G. That's the bass line. Other than that, it's always D minor chord in the b background. D, D flat, C. So the way you go from C to B and G, uh, D minor, you extend your index D, D flat. Here I'm playing C bass, but still D minor notes, A and D on third and second string. So D flat, C, that's what I'm doing. And then from C, you do pull off towards B and G, right? Here you can pick the chord, again, D minor with slash G, D minor slash G, D flat, C, then uh, pre-chorus starts with G. You can either do full bar, G minor 7, then A minor 7, D, right? Or press a bass note with your thumb and other three notes in the triad with index small bar, partial bar, G, D minor, and keep going with this little transition I showed you before. And then this jazzy chord, it's a D minor 9, 11. So 9 E note is added on second string and 11th G is like suspended, right? So it's not clear if it's minor or major. The actual notes are open 4 D, G string 5th fret C, B string 5th fret E, and E string, string number 1, 3rd fret, G, that's your suspended note. All right, so again, pre-chorus. G minor, A minor 7, D, floating bass, G. A minor, jazzy chord, G. Verse is a constant a change of D minor to A M7 to G M7 and back to A M7. With this uh, funky type of picking or finger picking uh, pattern that I will show you here. So you pick main bass. D minor A G A A. Then pre chorus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The floating bass, like in the intro. Mm -hmm. Jazz chord. Mm -hmm. A minor 7 and pause. D. And again, chorus is pretty much same, constant change of D, M, A, M7, G, minus 7, A, M7, uh, same as in the verse, um, but maybe with a little bit more aggressive picking or strumming. Smooth up. very end of the second chorus, right before bass guitar solo, they do a separate set of syncopes, like a different syncopation. 
this like D minor A D, and then it goes. Uh, then this uh, bass guitar solo, another bridge they they do here, right? The rhythm guitar and it's the actual clean sound uh, guitar. They play it in D position, which is D 10th fret bar, right? But he's doing a small bar with ring finger covering string number four, three, two, and one on the 10th fret. And the strumming pattern is. Again, if it's slower, down, up, down, up, down, up. Again, first chord is D minor seven. Second chord is like B flat major with D bass, or you can add G bass if possible. You can play it this way if you want, or it's, it's gonna be easier if you just press first two strings with a small bar index on sixth fret, and middle goes on G string seventh fret. That's the second chord. Third one is AM7 and uh, 11th, like suspended. So it's D string 7th fret, G string 9th fret, B string 8th fret, E string 1st string 10th fret. That's the chord. So same strumming pattern, D minor. G, plus DM, AM, suspended. A. You can change your strumming pattern and slightly chord progression because now you will go from D M to A minor, then back to G, back to A minor. And the strumming is comes back to uh, choruses until it fades out so same chord progression D minor A M G A minor D and of course on top you'll hear the saxophone player which you can do on your electric guitar with drive distortion solo well that would be it for today we covered smooth operator saxophone and guitar lines if you have questions or suggestions, please share them in the comments below. And until next tutorial, God bless and take care.